Okay, in this video, we're going to look into running Modbus over an RS-485 line. Now, Modbus was developed in the late 70s. It was an industrial protocol to control PLCs. And in the beginning, it was ASCII-based. Then later on, it was binary-based with the RTU Modbus. And now we have Ethernet-based Modbus. So in this video, we're going to look at the RTU-based Modbus. And on my breadboard, I have a SCAMP3 board. And the UART output is connected up to this UART to RS-45 converter. And we have a twisted pair output, which is the differential balanced line. And that output is fed into pins 1 and 2 of an RJ45 jack. So now we have Modbus running on pins 1 and 2 of this Ethernet cable. Okay, I have my variable frequency drive on my bench powered up. Now there's three ways we can control the speed and direction of a three-phase induction motor using a variable frequency drive. If you look at the terminal strip, you can see there's an AVI input that's 0 to 10 volts, so we can control the speed of the motor by feeding 0 to 10 volts into the AVI pin. The second way we can control the speed and direction of a motor is using the ACI input. That's the current input, that's a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop. So we feed a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop into the ACI input and we can control the speed and direction of a three-phase motor. Now the third way is Modbus and right here there's an RJ45 jack and so if I plug in my Ethernet cable that's coming from my SCAP board and plug it into here we have control over this variable frequency drive using Modbus. Okay I have my RS45 link connected up to my variable frequency drive and I can send it some commands via Modbus through my SCAMP board. So I made some fourth words where I could control the speed. So right now you see the display says stop. So I could give it a speed command. I'll give it uh, 10 hertz. There's 10, 30 hertz. And I'll go maximum speed, 60 hertz. I'll take it down to 30 hertz again. Now I'll change direction. You can see it's in forward mode. I'll go reverse. Now if you're going in, in forward mode and you switch to reverse, it's going to ramp it down to zero and then it's going to switch directions and ramp it up. So you can see that happening. So I'll go reverse. It's ramping down and it's ramping up and it's in reverse mode. And if I hit zero hertz, it'll give me a stop. Okay, to control the variable frequency drive using RTU Modbus, we send it a byte packet. Now each byte packet has eight bytes in it. And you can see my commands. I got my direction, my forward, reverse, stop, and I got my speed, 10 hertz and 30 hertz. Now each byte packet is eight bytes. And we can see them here. So for my forward command, the first byte is the address byte. So every variable frequency drive has its own address. Because uh, RS-45 is multi-drop, we could put multiple variable frequency drives on the same pair. So the first byte is address. The second byte means we're doing a write to a register. And these two bytes here, 2501 is the register address. And this is the data that we're, we're uh, writing into that register. And the last two bytes is a 16-bit CRC checksum. So for reverse, same thing. 01 is address. 06, we're doing a write to this, to this uh, address here, this register, 2501. And we're writing 0003 as the data. And that will give us a reverse and we have a 16-bit CRC. Now for the speed, same sort of thing. 01 is the address. 06, we're doing a write. This time we're using this register, 2502, for the speed. And this is our speed command. So if we take 1000 decimal and change it to hex, we're going to get 03E8. And the last two bytes is our 16-bit uh, CRC checksum. And also for 30 hertz, address is 1. 06 means a write. We're writing to uh, register 2502. Now if we take 3000, change that to hex, that'll be 0B, B8, and then the last two bytes is our CRC checksum. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAM3 board for my simple Modbus commands. And I start off with my direction commands, my forward, reverse, and stop. Then underneath that is my speed, 0 hertz all the way up to 60 hertz, which is uh, full speed. So all I'm doing is taking the 8 bytes, putting them on the stack, and using the word to RS45 to send them out to the UART. Now if you look at the 8 bytes, they're in reverse order because the 4th stack is the first in, last out. So the word to RS45 right here starts with this byte and then we'll go to this byte and it'll, go, it'll work its way along to the left until it comes to the checksum 
which would be 1, 2, C6. So that's all you have to do. Put it on the stack, but in reverse order, and then run the word to RS45, and that will send it out the RS45 link. Okay, I mapped some of those simple fourth commands to my keyboard. So 8 would be forward, 2 would be reverse, 5 would be stop, then 1, 4, 7 would be my speeds. So right now it's at stop, so if I give forward, she's going forward, and I'll change speeds, maximum speed, mid speed, low speed, I'll reverse, high speed, reverse, she ramps down, then she'll ramp back up again to the same speed, and five is stop. Okay, next, we're going to have a look at the code that was mapped to my keyboard. So here's my commands, my direction, and my speed, which you saw before. And I made a word called modbus down here. So the first thing it does, init.modbus, configures the UART to 9600 baud, and it clears out the buffer. Then it's going to take a key that you're going to press, and here's the keys. There's eight for forward two for reverse, five for stop, and goes all the way down to, if you hit escape, it will come out of this program. So whatever you hit on the keyboard, those keys, it's gonna run forward for the key press of eight, it's gonna run reverse for a key press of two, it'll go all the way down, it'll exit when you hit the escape key. So that's just my little uh, fourth word mod bus, where you can map it to the keyboard, so you can play around with your code and make sure that it's working properly. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on simple Modbus control. So if you have a variable frequency drive or a PLC that's capable of Modbus, you could hook it up with a SCAMP3 board and a little interface board. And then you could do your own control functions, your own uh, software to meet your needs for your project.